All right, tubers, we're back for some more drafting on Arena of the Chromatic Cube. Thanks all for tuning in. Hopefully you've been enjoying them. Hit that like and subscribe button as we jump into our pick one, pack one of this. This here pack, I kind of like the Salvala. Card's very nice. I think Deafening Clarion's actually really, really solid. Um, Search for his Kanta's okay. Menagerie Curator's pretty good. Haven't been particularly impressed by Uro in this cube. Uh huh. It's actually crazy. There aren't many wrath effects in the cube, so that's why Deafening Clarion I think is so good here. But do I want to take a red white card to start? I don't know. Could also try forcing another archetype last few days. We've been doing some different archetypes. We did like blink last time. Sorry, blink two times ago, tokens the time before uh last time. Um, have been trying some other archetypes out on stream, so you'll probably see some of those in the uh, morning VODs that get uploaded. But I'll just go with Classic, definitely Clarion. Probably going to end up in red-blue. Oh well, if that happens, so be it. <laughs> As we get past a pretty weak second pack. Best cards here, probably like Cloudblazer. Maybe the land. You could probably go for like a meal um, after taking Cloud Blazer, like trying to wield a meal. This is not good though. I mean, I guess Atris is just a bunch of value. Nothing wrong with Atris. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that instead. If I hadn't already tried the Flicker deck, I would take the Cloud Blazer and do that. But uh, instead, here I think I'm just gonna take the Atris. I guess the the Jetmere's Garden is always a safe pick too, actually. No, let's try. Let's take the tri land. I take it back. Can't go wrong with that there. Into a third pick, which is similarly not very good. Hmm. I think I'm just going to continue to take lands then. I'm going to take the black red land here instead of another red white land. I do take lands higher than the majority of people, but uh, they are that good, so no regrets for sure. Doom Whisperer is pretty solid if we wanted to take a black card. Bolas is decent. The Healy and Electrolyze are fine. Huh. I don't think I'm really seeing any huge signpost cards that would lead me down our direction. Obviously, I'm looking towards the red-blue cards. So I think that's the best strategy, but... Yeah, nothing too, nothing too impressive here. Maybe it is just Electrolyze. Maybe it's Bolas. I dig taking the Electrolyze. Let's go with that. Burn's good. And this is just a very easy Mythos of Luna. I think this is one of like the top cards in the format. It is surprising how much work this does. Um, even when you're not copying a creature, you know? Other good cards in this pack. Thriving Isle's great. Cast Out's fine. Planeswalker's decent. No, nah, Mythos has been way too good to pass up. Okay, what do we get here? Fire Prophecy. Probably the choice. Some cheap interaction for the creature-based decks. Seems good. Krasis would be decent. Chromatic Ori, I love this card, but man, it has not proven itself to be all that great in this format. I mean, obviously a lot of the big mana-hungry decks um, wouldn't mind it, but it's not been very good. I'm going to take the Fire Prophecy here. Ooh, into maybe an easy Smoldering Egg. Drowned Catacomb is also decent. Yeah, we have a fantastic Smoldering Egg start, though. I'm good with that. Whirlwind Denial here for some cheap interaction. So counters are always, always good in cube as well, right? Your opponents are generally trying to do some pretty big things. I don't think there's a true good aggro deck in this format. There are like hardly any good one drops uh, and a diminished number of two drops than we're used to. So people are trying to usually do um, bigger, splashier things, which makes counters that much better. Get a Skittering Surveyor here, perhaps. I don't think we'd want Scattered Groves for any reason. Of 
Cloudblazer wield, so did the Emil, so I guess the Flicker deck is super open, but... I'm kind of tired of uh, trying to make that deck work, and I don't even think it's like the best um, or top tier strategy in the format. It can be super fun, and it can be good, but I don't think... Um, I don't think it's what you want to be doing normally. Happy just to take the Alchemist Gambit here. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last of the Chromatic Cube drafts that I do, but uh, Double Masters did drop today. So you can expect some number of Double Masters card, uh, sorry, Double Masters uh, drafts, or maybe even some sealed in the near future. Um, yeah, maybe even starting tomorrow, depending on. So we have good early interaction right now. So top picks right for us at this point in time are going to be just more fixing and uh, top end cards. For example, here I'm going to take the Sundown Pass. I don't think Cavalier of Gales is what you normally want in this style of deck, although it's okay. The triple blue is one of the things that uh, turns me off of it, but it's also just not the finisher that you want. Tatiova could be an interesting splash card. We will see about that. Just turns all your lands into extra value and a little bit of life. I'm only going to end up running the Gambit if we find ways to copy it. Otherwise, it's just not worth running, generally. Whereas, Temporal Sundering and... Uh, Auron's Epiphany, for example, are worth it by themselves. Some white cards on the wheel. We could take and play Lyra if we wanted a little more um, action versus like the aggressive decks, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. And again, there aren't that many good aggressive decks in this format anyways. All right, let's move on to pack number two, where we open quite a few good ones. Denial's Great, Stance, Helix, Tome, and Bolt. All very solid pickups. We don't need more burn right now. We actually have quite a bit in the early game, so while Bolt and Helix are just fantastic, obviously, I think I'd rather have Tome or Denial here. And I'm a big fan of all of the two mana artifacts, ones that get you extra advantage, and this one is also some stabilization anyways versus some of those creature decks because it can gain you some life later on. Field of the Dead, is that worth taking? I don't think so. I've come down on that card quite a bit in this cube. I mean, I guess there's maybe not too much in this pack otherwise. If this was an on-color thriving land, I would probably take it. We could take like Fast and Furious, I guess. Like, what are the contenders? Kenrith, Fast Furious, Field of the Dead, maybe Young Pyro. I mean, I already have six instants and sorceries for Pyro, but I don't think that's necessarily what we want to be taking. Eh, okay. You know what? I'll take the Field of the Dead anyways. We have some number of lands already, and it's kind of a free roll. As we get past a Mindstone and an Ugin. Captain Lannery's alright. I think Ugin here is the easy choice. Another good win con, removal, and a lot of card advantage if it just sits on the battlefield upticking, you know? So I don't have any blue fixers right now, I guess. That right, could be slightly awkward. Ooh, very bad pack here for us now. Pick number four. Hmm. This might be the time to s kind of pivot then. Because what are we looking at here? I mean, I guess... Technically, taking like Botanical Sanctum is not awful for Mythos purposes, and it also helps the Field of the Dead. But really, I don't think we want any of these cards. Bay of Wishes is kind of medium, and probably tends to wheel. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm happy to take the land. We have some utility for it, so... Nothing wrong with that. Farewell is a nice pickup. If Farewell wasn't here, I would probably take Omnath. But Farewell is one of the few true Wraths, and it's just mm, way too good. Way, way too good. 
Doesn't deal with Planeswalkers, but this card can get you out of situations. Basically, no other card can. Lorehold Command here over Fight with Fire makes sense to me. This is one of the better commands. Memory, Commence is okay. Guard Mage is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's an easy lore hold. We could just be like red-white. Straight up. Maybe not play the blue. We don't have very much blue fixing, and we don't have a real reason to be playing the blue right now, so... I could definitely see doing that, just going red-white. As we take Hedron Archive here for a little bit of ramp. Robber of the Rich. I don't think that card's all that great. Spell Swindle's pretty good. Hard Evidence is also fantastic. The blue cards here look the best. Oh, Crab's really nice, but maybe the Spell Swindle's what I want more. It's just five mana counters are not that good generally, so yeah, we'll take Crab. See if blue stays open. Oh, okay, we are wheeling the counters, so that's good. Kindred Denial is a nice one. I like it a lot more than uh, Spell Swindle. Fast and Furious on the wheels, great. Okay. This can act as not only removal, but also some uh, digging. All right, that's a lot better now. Ooh, a Sika's Chariot, too. You know what? I might end up splashing the Chariot... We have the Botanical, we have the Jetmere's Garden already. I mean, this is just a good standalone card, and it's not too hard to cast. Kind of a brick pack there. Which means if we're already splashing Chariot, then maybe Tatiova gets on the list of things. Maybe we're playing a little fun four-color brew here. I could dig that. Four-color, no black. Yeah, that looks spicy. Jeez, memory and commence on the wheel. I think we'd rather have memory here. I'm not gonna play response. Okay, pack number three. Futurist Spell Thief has been good for me. Bouncer has been all right. We probably want to take some fixing here though. So we have like Pathway, Forsaken Crossroads. Actually, Seize the Spoils is also good fixing. I've been really, really happy with this one. Makes a treasure as well, right? Kind of dig that. If, if there was like a true blue land, maybe I'd take that instead, but let's take the Seize the Spoils. Kind of a weird first pick, but I think it's good enough. Uh, Wow, where is the fixing? Mirari Conjecture, actually not bad here. Hmm. Angel Invention? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want Sheltered Thicket. Oh, okay, we'll take the Conjecture second pick. Or will we? No, that's a card that should wheel, right? I guess we will still just take the Thicket. It's better for field and it's splashable for the green cards. All right, Chromatic Lantern, I think, has got to be the choice, right? <sighs> Prismari Command, I think, might be like... <laughs> oof, seriously, top five or ten cards in this format. It's just so good, but... I feel like the Lantern is more necessary... Kinda sucks. Ah, oh, no. Prismatic Command is just too good. Every time you cast this card, it feels like you win the game. I can't say the true same being true of um, Chromatic Lantern as what is going on. As we get a fourth pick Lutri, just a free roll. Might as well take that. More fixing in Temple. There's also Gear Hulk here. And we have eight, eight instants for Gear Hulk, so that would not be a bad play, actually. But it's a free loot tree, so... Whatever. Spire Bluff Canal over Supreme Will, I think, makes sense. Let's see, we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're at like 20-ish playables. Yeah, I like taking the red-blue land. Burn Down the House is another really, really powerful card. Surprisingly, we... Act hmm. Maybe I don't even need that, actually. I already have Deafening Clarion. I already have Farewell. Could this actually be better to take the Fabled? Fabled's good for not only Field of the Dead, but also Tatiova. I 
kind of interesting, but I'll go ahead and still just take the burn down. Seventh pick Sublime Epiphany makes me wish I had taken the Gear Hulk, but what are you going to do? The farewell fixing is really bad here. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy I took Burn Down the House because there's a chance that I'm going to end up cutting the farewell just because the man is not there for it. I still don't mind splashing the lore hold and the deafening clarion, but uh, double white seems a little bit harder to get. Still no use for that blood crypt. Jeez Louise, yeah, I mean... Scholar pick 8 after taking Epiphany. It's the only sensible choice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if we could get like one or two more early game plays. The Futurist Spell Thief versus the Bouncer. Both are good here. Kind of like the Spell Thief a little bit more. I think we're hoping to wheel one of those lands. I think there was like a henge gate pathway we could get on the wheel. Oh, maybe not here though. Don't see ourselves running Dream Eater. But then again, we're not running any of those other cards, so that doesn't matter anyways. Yeah, four color soup. Hey, there's the pathway. That's the one I was talking about. Perfect. The land for Field of the Dead. Darn. I think this might have been the Gear Hulk pack, so... I mean, it's not surprising it didn't come back, but... There's always that hope. One, two... We have three green sources in land. Uh, we're going to run one of at least every basic just for the Skittering Surveyor. So one forest. Oh, I'm going to need a bunch of blue sources here, aren't I? One, two... I only have three blue sources. We probably need to get up to eight, so that means we're going to need at least five islands be my guess. Gambit on the wheel. Don't need that. Hmm. Eh, I don't think this deck is fantastic, but it's got some things going for it. Oh, you know what? I didn't wheel that Mirari Conjecture either, did I? Hmm. Anyways. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 23. Let's add some lands here. One, two, three. One plains. Five islands. No swamps. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's six, seven red sources. And then one forest, something like that. Seven red sources might be a little bit shallow. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue, seven red, one, two, three, four white, one, two, three, four green. Okay. That actually looks pretty good though. And then we get the free roll loot tree, of course. Not the best deck, but uh, it's got a lot of good cards, so if we can draw the right spells, then I think uh, we'll be in good shape. Let's go to round one here. Hmm. I don't know what the number one card I would want to have in this deck would be, but... Seems like we have a shot at at least. Okay, on to round number one. How are we looking? We have good mana, but how is the hand otherwise? Okay. We'll give this a shot. I don't think it's anything special, but... Definitely strong enough to keep as we lead with turn one tap land, turn two canal, then turn three sundown. Alright, we are playing against the flicker deck. The nice thing is we have a bunch of mass board wipes for the Flicker deck. Honestly, I could probably still run the Farewell in this deck, but... I think it's fine to have left it in the sideboard.
Okay, land pass from them. Shock, what are they gonna play? Land War Visionary. Do we want to copy that? I think that's fine. More so that I just get um, something on the board for next turn. Because now I can just play Sundown. Pass. Set myself up for Kindred Denial this turn. And if they don't play anything this turn, that's fine. I don't mind passing. I would, would have traded with the Visionary, of course, if that attacked, but we'll trade with the 2-2 uh, two -two as well. We already got our value. That is a fantastic counter. Holy smokes. That's a really hard one for us to uh, deal with. Feels like. I guess we go Mountain here for Field of the Dead purposes. Actually, hmm. Maybe we go Visionary first, see what we draw. Nice, okay. Well, that worked out. And we have so many things to do with our mana, we're probably going to go ahead and just start activating the Scry. Don't need to try to maximize our value by uh, only using it by card drawing. Ah, very good. Okay, so they get to return Thassa to their hand. Good news for us is that we have um, Ugin to... Egg Wait. Oh, I lied. Ugin is not Exile. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Right, let's bottom that. That's good, though. Let's go Tatiova. Play land, draw a card, gain a life. Pass with... Excuse me, Tome Activation. Thassa with Witness, Thassa with Visionary, both pretty gross, but we can start dealing with those later. Oh, sure, they're going to get rid of my uh, Tatiova. Yep. Okay, we have the Mythos. Looks like they're going to flicker their card draw. Oh, what? It didn't stop in time? I guess not. How do we want to play this? Two, four, six, eight mana. I guess Edrin into burn down the house is okay now. So there you go. Because getting rid of their uh, Timeless Witness means they can't flicker it for value. They can make the token of the Timeless Witness, but that is short lived. I'm going to go ahead and scry here, I think. Denik. Sure. I get to Flicker Karuga, draw an extra card. Don't need that. Okay. Let's see. So while Denik is on the battlefield, I can't Scholar, notably. But what I can do, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So we can go Smoldering Egg. 
I only have one green source right now, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, smoldering egg. Go Mythos Copping Karuga. Okay. Fight the Denik. See if we can draw a green source. Oh, that's good too. Start uh, yielding. Nice, that's good. Okay. Now just pass. And end of turn. End of their turn, I can fast um, to flip my egg. And now we can do Scholar Mythos business. I guess I could have put Lutri in my hand too. But that shouldn't matter. Feels like we're very far ahead. It's just... Starting the uh, pressure. Alright, I like that. Spend their turn doing that. It's good for us. Uh, what do they even have? Polymorphist? Sure. Ooh, Fortell. That's kind of scary. Ah, well, I might be able to kill them this turn now. Let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to be a little bit short. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I needed 12 mana to win this turn. But we can still kind of go off. I think? Yeah. Okay, well let's crab. Shoot Karuga for two. Into um, haste, shoot Karuga for two, smash out, and then hold up denial for next turn. I mean, that's, that could just be Starnheim Unleashed as well. And if it's Starnheim, we get to counter it, so. Don't care about that. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Oh, it was an epiphany. Interesting. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I said, counters in this format are so, so powerful since everybody's trying to do some big, nasty things, so. Got them good. Got them good. Now these matches are taking a while to pair now. Don't know why. But on to game number two, where we are on the play. Hand looks good. Turn one garden, turn two sanctum tome, turn three sundown. 
Just start drawing on turn three with the tome, I would think. I guess we could put Lutri in our hand as well if we really wanted to. Maybe we just scry on turn three and... Yeah, maybe scrying on turn three and putting Lutri in hand's a better play. The Goose! Little honker. Hmm. My hand's pretty slow. Kind of sad. Turn over to Caravan. Well, that's very good. Okay. Like I said, I, I think this is one of the top cards in the format. Uh, so brutal. I am going to scry here because we want to find our fourth land. That's good enough. I'm going to main phase draw in case we draw another tap land. Ooh, Sultai. Oski's pretty good. Hmm. Toski's actually really annoying here. I guess what I'm going to do is pass. And then we can go like this. We can hold full control. Scry with the tome. Um, and then make a 3-2 and sack a permanent. We can sack the tome. That was going to die anyways. Did not find a land, though. Hmm. And then the 3-2 can just bounce off of Toski. Hydroid Crisis for 4. It's not bad. Let's go... I guess we should probably just kill the Hydroid Crisis. I wanted to Ugin the Midnight Clock, but that's okay, because if we can hit a 7th mana source, I can uh, Scholar the Midnight Clock with... Or Scholar the Prismari Command and kill the Midnight Clock. Okay, that's fine. So with Ugin sitting on the battlefield, we are... Probably way, way ahead now. Let's go ahead and activate. Secrets manifest before you. I did not find an untapped land. We definitely need to kill one of these this turn. I guess what I could do is Furious to blow up both of those. And then draw the forest. I guess maybe I should have upticked Ugin after this, though. That was a slight sequencing error. But this is fine. I mean, even if they get rid of the 2-2. Two -two, Ugin, uh... Doesn't die to Toski standalone. Okay. Alright, uptick. Get our egg. Let's play Scholar. Prismari Command. 2 damage, kill an artifact, 2 damage, kill an artifact, and they might just scoop to the clock dying. They are obviously super far behind, and I have a ton of action left. I haven't even returned Lutri to my hand yet. Okay, let's 
Uptick. How do we kill him the fastest here? Shoot this. That'll do just fine. All right. Make another 2-2. Two, two. Face. Six at Frasca. And now we have Epiphany open with Scholar, so... That will be game over. Oh, actually, I missed lethal. I missed lethal that turn. Oh well, they're still dead here anyways. I was gonna say, I could have copied the Scholar and then the Scholar, the new Scholar would have copied the Hold Command. I missed lethal, but no big deal. <laughs> Get to demoralize them even a little bit further. GG, go to game three. On to the next game. Hmm. Don't know why the queue times are so long now. Okay, I think this is okay to keep, but it's slightly questionable. Obviously, we don't have a red or a white source, but we do have access to turn three denial plus presumably, excuse me, turn four chariot. Uh, if we can just find one land in the next couple draw steps. The Booter! Well, now they get to see all my crazy secrets. <laughs> I guess they probably take Denial or Chariot. It's the only things that make sense here. Yep. Totally makes sense. And we have nothing to do but return on Lutri and pray that uh, we draw an untapped land next turn. Very awkward. Very, very awkward. Alright, good beats. Well, kept a three lander, didn't draw land in three draw steps. Luckily, they did make a slight mistake there. But sometimes that's just bad luck. We needed to find a land in four draw steps and we didn't hit one. And now we're going to fall way too far behind. Sure. Uh, I won't quite concede yet, but... Obviously not ideal. Just getting absolutely plastered by that Toski. They've drawn like six cards already. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I can't do anything if I play the egg out. I guess I'm going to elect the Vraska and try to find another red source. Oh, that doesn't do it. Yeah, they're still drawing infinite cards here. Oh, untapped red source for burn down the house wipes everything but Toski. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to win when the opponent's Eight cards deeper in their deck, but... Again, that's just bad luck. If we hit our fourth land on time, we have access to, like, memory and stuff, or whatever. That's just magic, baby. Good beats. GG. Good beats, good beats. 
Easy win with a land. Easy GG with no land. GG go next. Indeed. Game number four. Up on the draw. Yeah, have to keep it. Two lands on the draw. You're likely to hit a third by the third turn, so. Hopefully we don't run into the same problem as last time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Phew. And our opponent's not doing much over there either, so that's good for us. Let's... I'm not going to play out the Surveyor since I drew a fourth land on time. We're going to hold up Denial this turn. Try to tempo out a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't matter what they were going to cast here. I was just going to counter it no matter what. Looks like they're missing land drops too, so now we just get to slam the Archive. And this could just be game over if they don't do anything relevant here. Because Ugin on an empty board. Pretty backbreaking. Okay, that's good. They get to kill the Ugin with that. Fair enough. Two, four, six mana. No double blue, though. I think we're gonna go like this. Surveyor. Grab another blue source. And then we can hold up memory. And things are looking good. Let's go mountain plus seas. Attack for three. Play mountain two, four, six, eight. So we're just going to pass with Epiphany open. No rush to do anything. And if they don't cast anything, we can still just Memory Deluge. So they're putting in a really awkward spot. Don't care about that. Let's use our mana up efficiently here, I think. Jeez. Very, very OP. Planes, lower hold command. Go ahead and shoot down the thief. Although awkwardly, I need to play another island this turn so I can uh, hold open Epiphany again. I guess we'll discard the seize the spoils at this, to this point. Do I care about that? Nope. Go for lower hold. And now we just win. Now we can go... Does that win? Four, f eight, yeah. Scholar. Copy lore hold command. Creature, haste. GG. Could have also played a land first and got an extra zombie token, but it didn't really matter. We were pretty darn far ahead that game. And that's three and one. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. All right, game number five. Ugh. Game number five, how are we looking? Good enough. On the play, I think this is fine to keep. Maybe if I'm on the draw, I mulligan just because it's a little bit too slow, but... I think this is doable. Hey, we have a Lutri Mirror. Opponent knows the power. So I guess we want to find a red source by turn 3, ideally, so we can seize the spoils.
Looks like they opted to take a mulligan. Uh, I suppose worst case scenario, if I don't draw anything to do by turn three, we can just put the loot tree into our hand. Ah, perfect. I mean, it might still be correct to put out the or put the loot tree into our hand, anyways. Ornithopter. Uh, no, let's go ahead and seize. And we can discard another white source since we drew one. Next turn. Archive into Tome looks pretty juicy. What if the opponent's just on Mardu? Oh, nope, there's a little bit of blue. Well, that's very bad for us, because I don't have a way to actually deal with that right now. Huh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's really bad. So we're going to scry after they hit me with the thief. Really damn unfortunate. Hmm. Ugin and hard evidence gone. Did they take egg from me? Wait a minute. Interesting. Oh, if we can find burn down the house, it kind of just win insta wins. That's good too. All right, that's a great pickup. So we're gonna go planes. Oh wait, why did I think I could blow up artifacts with that? What the heck am I thinking? Wrong one, huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I think we need to kill the thief. I'm debating if I want to... Hmm. I'm debating if I want to sacrifice a permanent as well here. They might just be able to flip the Jacob if they hit a blue source too, you know? I guess let's start off by drawing with the tome. Or maybe we scry with the tome, actually. No, let's scry with the tome, see if we find a two-drop removal spell. Then I'm going to... Deal three damage, sack a permanent draw two. I think we're going to sack the treasure instead of the tome. Dang it. Then we found the Prismari command. It's too bad. Well, if they don't have a blue source, they can't flip Jonathan, so. Okay. Yeah, we're still looking great. Prismari Command kills Jonathan, kills an artifact, which is their Ornithopter, which is currently their only blue source. Should be okay here. Turns out, though, had I been a had I sacked the tome, I would have been able to Prismari command off of the treasure. No unfortunate. Oh, oh, they must have drawn the blue source for the turn for off of Jonathan rather. Hmm. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to shoot my Maze Mind Tome instead of the Hedron Archive. I like that. And then they're going to put Lutri in their hand. Let's go. One, two, three. Deal two. Kill an artifact. Hmm. 
Play out chariot. Land. Say go. Ugh. Not sure if I sequence things correctly this game, but we are looking okay now. I mean, they only have three cards in their hand, and we know one of them is Lutri. If we draw an untapped land, I can return Lutri to my hand, plus hold up Sublime. That would be pretty nice. Ah, Kolagon's command. Very good. Yep. So chariots down. Yeah, they're gonna loot tree the Kolagons and kill my Hedron Archive as well. Very good. Hmm. Yeah, that's gross. But it could be worse. I'm gonna memory here, I think. No, I'm not. I'm gonna play Garden and Pass. If we bounce the egg, it's gonna go back to our hand. It's a little bit telling that I have something because I, uh... Uh Okay, that's fine. That this is good enough. Turn that to my hand, copy this, draw. Not often you get the full sublime epiphany. Not that it mattered, but... They're gonna play out the Thief again, I imagine. Yep. So, we might have to let the Thief hit us once here, but... That was the breaks. We only have two mana available. I guess counter? I don't think we need Field of the Dead. Counter plus Clarion looks really good here, though. Alright, once again, it's going to come down to what they hit off of Thief of Sanity, so... Hopefully there's nothing gross. Um, what's the worst thing they could hit? I guess Scholar? Yeah, there are a few really, really good cards they could hit from me. They milled a land and a Whirlwind Denial, okay. That doesn't tell us too much, because Whirlwind Denial not so good here anyway, so... Like, if we saw them mill Scholar or something crazy, I don't know. Kaya the inexorable, sure. What if they kill my egg? One more monster. How hard could it be? Uh if they kill the egg, they lose their They lose their uh Kaya, but this is still good, I guess. For us. 
they're going to return Lutri to their hand. Okay, well, let's play in here. Go land. I guess I have to pass, which means the Kayaya can kill my dragon, but that's okay. Not the greatest play, I guess. I needed one more mana to be really good shape. Yeah, this is awkward. Hmm. Really, really awkward. What two drops do I have left in my deck? Fire Prophecy to get back. I think we let that resolve since we have so much burn left too. Tetio was not bad. <sighs> Six, seven, one, two. I feel like I've thrown this game like five different times. Feels like we shouldn't have lost this. But that spell thief or uh, thief of sanity hit me too many times. Rather, it didn't let it hit me, but I just didn't find my answers soon enough. Still have a lot of good cards though. It's just it's going to be hard to deal enough damage because maybe I don't have enough pressure left. Alright, they do want to flip it. It's fine. That gets Scholar if they didn't take it from me. And they didn't. Oh, baby. Okay. Now we're in it. That's all we needed. Beautiful. That right there was the swing. I wonder if they just finish off the Tatiova. Yep, that's fine. Beautiful. Do I have Mythos in my graveyard? No, we don't have Mythos in our graveyard. Oh, but this is a win still, right? Yeah. We go Scholar, Sublime, Lower Hold. Bounce that. Copy this. Draw a card. Hold full control. Hit lore hold command here. Make tokens. Lore hold command. Creature haste. Hit him for infinity. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that was quite the turn. Quite the turn, let me tell you. Yeah. Those turns feel good. Alright, on the draw here. Mm. I'm going to keep and hope we draw red source because we have Prismari command. Oh, come on. Untap red source next turn. So good. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Come on, untap red. Yes! Perfect. Perfect. Turn two egg. Turn three, Prismari command. 
turn four chariot or memory deluge and flip the egg. Basically constructed, turn two egg, prismari command memory. Fine, I don't want to lose the egg. I should block there, but it doesn't really matter. If they want to use a burn spell on my egg, I'm usually pretty happy with that. Go ahead and deal two damage, make a treasure. Gotta do this now while the druid is tapped and targetable. Karn, huh? Oh, they're just going planeswalker heavy, huh? I'm gonna give them Polychronos, I guess. Sure. Let's flip the egg. Command and Denial's really good, but I think we just want more lands. Yeah, so the awkward thing here is that they get to grab cut with Karn and kill my dragon, but I think it's better just to finish off one of their walkers ASAP. Sage my treasure. That's rude. Let's see here. I guess I'm gonna seize the spoils, discarding chariot. Mythos is good. Look more blue. Crab. Pass. We can cast the chariot off of the scholar, notably. I'm going to give them meteor golem here. Instead of land, because they might be lacking lands. Plus, we don't really care if they have a Meteor Golem right now, I don't think. Okay, let's see. I need a creature you'd control... Two, four, six, eight. Interesting turn, interesting turn. Could Mythos their Polychronos if we wanted to? What's the play here? There's too many good options. Lutri back to my hands, not terrible. I mean, we eventually want to deal with their Karn somehow, but... I guess we also want to get the Mythos in the graveyard. Let's go ahead and fight their unblockable. Pass. Not sure if this is right, but seems fine.
And maybe they just go like land into Meteor Golem on the uh, on the Polychronos. Oh, those are both gross. Alright, we'll give him the glass pool instead of the hostage taker. Oh, uh, Karn is a big problem. Okay, they're gonna punch the crab, that's fine. I feel like we're so close to stabilizing super easy. Okay, they played out the Mimic as their seventh land. That's actually pretty good for us. Tap land, return Lutri to my hand, say go. I don't really... they're not gonna... It doesn't make sense for them to hostage take her a treasure. Nebraska, that's fine. Wherever I go, I leave bodies in my way. Its loss will serve us. Um, wait, can I kill him here? They have three mana open, though. What do they have in their hand? I need to get this lower hold command into my graveyard, I guess. Let's see. Well, we could go Scholar, Mythos, Blue Tree. We're so close to one shotting them out of nowhere, it's crazy. Okay. I'm going to play the Surveyor out here. Grab a land. Land pass. End of turn, I'm going to lore hold command them. And then we're going to do the Scholar, copy Scholar play. And presumably win the game. Okay. That's... Fine. They're probably terrified of what I'm holding. <laughs> what is this person doing? Just have to be worried about them having a counter, you know? No blocks. Are they returning Polychronos? Sure. Okay. Let's make a creature and shoot for three.
They don't have blue open anymore, but they could still have a removal spell. Hmm. Maybe I don't even go for that yet. Actually, I guess I can bait them. See if they use the fight in response. Perfect. And then if they do that, we win. Right? Two, four, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. So, Field of the Dead. Go off. Wait. Is this a clue? Oh, it's a clue from the crab! I missed lethal! Oh, this was a clue the whole time, not a treasure! Oh my gosh. I'm... I had it and I threw it. Had it and I threw it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. So what I was going to do is Scholar the Mythos, Mythos the Scholar, Scholar the Lorehold Command, and do the same thing we did the previous turn. That's what I've been missing this entire time. That it was a clue from the crab and not... I wonder how many turns ago I would have been able to draw an extra card, too. The opponent has to be thinking, what the hell is going on? And yeah, apparently I didn't know what was going on either. That's funny. That's too funny. <laughs> I can't believe... Uh, well, at least it makes for good entertainment. Uh, returning number of target creatures with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Alright, go off. Yeah. Oh boy, what a game. What a complete throw. What a complete throw. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think I can deal twenty one to them this turn. Man alive, what a such a throw! Oh, we had it, we had it, and I threw it. Did I still have the win if I'd played my untap land last turn, too? I might have. Would have been five, ten. No, it would have been six, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It would have been close. Holy macaroni. Oh wait, maybe we still have lethal here. Maybe I still have lethal.
Wait, does this thing have reach? No, it doesn't. Holocronos doesn't have reach, does it? Wait, did I win? Remember, I should have done all of this last turn and probably had the win. Wow, we did! Oh, what a game! Holy crap. That damn clue, dude. I thought it was a treasure that whole game. I was setting up for that one turn blowout just like that, and my god. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Wow. What an ending. Holy crap. Especially when they had that many planeswalkers for so long. Okay. Well, that was one of the better games I've played this cube. Despite my mistake, we were still able to pull that out. 22 damage in one turn. Very nuts. Great hand here on the play. Gonna turn to Kavu. Let's scry for a land here. And, yeah, we'll scry one more. No greed. Keep that. I'm going to pitch the Surveyor. Presume it's just going to find a land anyways. Next turn's really good since we drew another blue source. We get to pass with both De Deluge and Denial open. Yeah, especially since they're not doing any re anything relevant this turn. Perfect. Beautiful lineup. Man, I'm aching after that first or that last game. What a freaking game. Enrica, we'll counter that and get a four drop from our deck. Let's just put Lutri into our hand this turn and draw with Tome. Seems like a good opportunity to do so. Ooh, goalie. They could very easily have a Field of the Dead, too. But they do not. Gonna need to find a way to deal with that. They could just activate theirs right now. All right, let's play Pathway on blue. I'm going to copy theirs. Go get my Field of the Dead. We can eat their 1-1 one, one token. All right, let's see if they spin. We can spin as well if we really wanted to. Although I don't know if that's actually even a good play. Ooh, Tibalt. That's a good one as well. Nice thing is if they eat my token. Oh, interesting. So because we have so much value in our hand already, I think I like scrying here to tr to like make sure they hit a land... <laughs> or something bad. Yeah, we don't want them to have that, for example. Damn it, they hit my Scholar, though. Well, that's unlucky. Two, four, six, seven. Hmm. Oh, I'm missing black for my Golos activation. Okay, well, we'll just pass. I'm just gonna let that happen and not counter it. Let's play a little game. Fine. Okay. 
right now we will counter all right let's counter everything uh let's bounce this we can actually make another copy of Golos and thin out our deck of even more land. Yeah, I like that. No black though, sadly, but that's okay. Now we have nine damage. Although I might be able to go for lethal if I can find lower hold command or something. Didn't. It's too bad. Let's see. Let's just develop out our mana. Edrin into these. Take another 2-2. Two, two. Alright. Looks good. Them stealing my Scholar doesn't even do anything anyways. They don't have any good hits in their graveyard. They can just get back the Courier's Briefcase and that's it. So. Feeling pretty damn confident about our position. Sure. It's fine. Okay. Um hmm. I guess let's attack with all of our tokens and see how they block. Good by me. I could spin the Golos here, but I don't think we want to do that. I think what we're going to do is play land. Pass. See what they do. Because we just have too much action in our hands. That kind of is annoying because they could mill my irrelevant cards. So I'm going to go ahead and memory in response and try to find some goodies so they can't hit them. Oh, can they? One, two, three. Oh, they have enough mana to play for the Whirlwind. We don't want to copy that for any reason, but I will electrolyze this before it uh, the greeters can get bigger. Okay. 11 cards left in my deck. Milled Ugin and Lorehold Command. Okay. Not great. Frog. All right, this is a messy game. How do we pull this off? What's left in my deck? Denial, Surveyor, Chariot, Tatiova, all garbage. Man, milling that Lorehold command really bites. But we do have a dragon. 
So let's go dragon. Copy it. Dragon. Attack again, see how they block. Good. I don't even think this is right. Kind of just clicking on cards now. <laughs> yeah, I need. I should have held my. Uh... Oh no! Well, Gandhi doesn't have much to hit, but I, what I was saying is I should have held my uh... three-two for when they did finally play out my scholar. They're just gonna mythos, right? I'm going to Mythos one of my dragons and I can't win. Yeah. I feel like I punted this so badly. This game should have been easy. But I'm pretty sure we're just dead now. Four cards left. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I don't think I have a way to win. I just spewed this, spewed this one off terribly. And the fact that... Ah, the Tybalt hit the one card we didn't want it to hit. Could have saved a bounce spell as well. Were there any other bounce spells I could have had? Mm. No, I threw this game. I definitely threw this game. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Okay, good beats. Nothing but garbage left in my deck. Yeah, 22. Mm. Man, after the... <laughs> back to back punts. Didn't uh, matter the first one, but that one there, I just threw it. So what was the play? There had to be a better line. So, I mean... Uh, hold the Futurist Spell Thief was the play. That's what it was. Just hold the Futurist Spell Thief for when they cast my flyer. If they do that, or if I do that, I win. Oh my gosh, I crush them if I do that. That was the, that was the biggest mistake. Casting Futurist Spell Thief on some irrelevant spell, right? If I cast the Spell Thief on my Shepherd, or not Shepherd, whatever it's called, Scholar, we get a copy of the Scholar. Our Scholar copies Epiphany. Copies a Scholar. Scholar copies Mythos. And not to mention, I can bounce my original Scholar, but yeah, that should have been a very easy win. Okay. Well, I don't mind losing like that. We had the win, and we just threw it away, so... Good beats. Go to the next game. Okay, on to game number eight. Ugh. I guess this, this is your brain on magic after eight hours. On the draw here. Not a bad-looking hand. Obviously needs to find one land, but if it can, we're in good spots. Perfect. Would ideally just draw a blue source by turn 3 instead of needing to surveyor into it on turn 4, but... Perfect. Alright. The draw is coming together, so... As long as I don't make some... 
horrendous mistakes again. Ooh! Prismari Command off the top, please. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Do need a second blue source now, too, so probably gonna have to surveyor next turn. I don't really care if they kill the egg. Lolith. It's fine. You could have such power. My power is for annihilation. Needing to tutor for an island here might what actually might be what costs us the game. Because now I'm pretty far behind. Yeah, they can like steal the egg and sack it if they want to as well. Yeah. Oh, burn down the house is what we need now. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, just like that, we're back in the game. Hilharg. <laughs> We just pass here and see what they do. Ilharg's weird. It's fine. Let's see if they put anything on the battlefield. They don't. All right, so we'll just take the hit. If they're doing this now, now we can do all these. Sure, that's worth it. Alright, that was good. Yeah, we need to play this... I guess we can do it as this. Return loot, read our hand, and say go. Holding up our denial. And so, if they replay Ilharg and we get to denial it, we could hit, like, um... Lower hold command, which would be good. This is Kolagon's command? No. Regrowth. Alright, that's fine. We'll just counter the uh, Angrath. Good. There's the lower hold, like I said. Does that win? Does copying lore hold win? No, it doesn't. Not quite good enough, right? Well, they only have Ilharg in their hand, so... Probably just play out Chariot, play out Land, Pass, Hold Open Memory Deluge. Yep, that's fine.
Memory. There, that's okay by me. Ugin. Plus. I guess this, no, we'll take a land. They have no cards in their hand. Ugin. Makes Prophecy co or Archive cost two less. Minus. Okay, we should be good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Playing sloppy, but deck's too good, right? Brutal, brutal, brutal. My brain's fried. This is your brain on magic. This is your brain on nine hours of magic. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Some pretty fun things we can do with this deck, though, assuming I can find the correct sequences. I've not always been able to find them, but uh, we're on to the finals. Let's see if we can get another trophy. On to game number nine. Okay, game number nine. Let's see if I can muster enough brain power to uh, potentially win one more match. We're on the draw here. Our hand is acceptable, though it is not great. Hopefully Crab can do us a little business. Oh, we might be playing a mirror match here. Opponents on Lutri, Red White as well. Okay. So as such, I think I'm going to lead on the Jetmere's Garden instead of Crab turn one. Because it's less likely we're going to need the early uh, stabilization versus them. Yeah. Definitely a mirror match. Hmm. Real with our chances, but we'll see. Yeah, that could be a problem. Let's go Field of the Dead pass. Yikes, we need to find some removal for artifacts right now. They have way too much. I mean,. I guess the good news is... They don't have many cards left, and I do. If they just return loot free and pass, I'm going to be really sad. We need them to cast a spell here. Now I'm falling too far behind, so I have to go with this play. And now they have an opportunity to do something wacky if they have it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana available with a loot tree. Oh, that's okay. Interesting. The copy of the egg doesn't do anything. That's good. Hmm. Two, three, four. so much mana though yeah 
I need lands. Even bad land is a land. I think here I'm just gonna go archive, kill the egg. And accept the fact that Ugin probably dies here. This Jetmere's Garden's really saving our bacon. It's only it's our only red and white overlap source. Ooh, that's a fun one. Okay. Did Ugin not die this turn? We found Scholar too, huh? They only have Mythos in their graveyard, so I think I'm just going to pass now. With double counter open. Looks like they might be flooding out a bit. <sighs> they might have also forgotten that their Hedron Archive copy can draw two cards. We will take that trade all day. Okay. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I don't mind just sitting back. All right, we're going to go for it. Nice. So we denied them the card draw of their Hedron Archive. And we bounced their Arcane, so it's going to make it a lot harder for them to go off with it the next turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can go Chariot next turn, plus hold open Kindred Denial. Crawling back, I think. Crawling back. No plays. That's terrifying. Maybe they're just gonna make a big shark. Let's go land pass. Dream Eater. Okay, I'll go ahead and counter that. That's fine. Need them to tap out, ideally. Oh wait, so we want to do the same thing again. Scry one, trigger. Make a three, two. Sack a permanent. Perfect, that's good. And now that we know they're tapped out, we get to win with a uh, Scholar combo. If they copy Ugin, it doesn't matter because the Ugin gets copied at the end of their turn, so they won't even be able to use it. So, 
This is gonna be like 30 some damage or something crazy. safer to kill that though anyways um one two three four five so yeah scholar epiphany bounce that copy that draw scholar copy command three two haste an attack for infinite. Kind of crazy how good Scholar with a copy effect is. And that Lorehold command every single time has just been so good. Man, good game. Alright, they had me in the early section because of their ramp and then they just kind of fizzled out. Although they did make that mistake of copying their, uh, copying their egg, which doesn't do anything because that can't flip. It's not a, it, If they had conjured an egg, they could do that, but flipping an egg doesn't hurt. Copying an uh, egg with a token doesn't do anything. Anyways, nice seven winner. My brain is fried. We punted a couple games there. So, in fact, did I pump both losses? No, no. I punted. Oh, yeah, maybe I punted both losses. So, anyways, that was a fun one. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you back later. Peace out.